tuweze kusaidiana pamoja na tuhakikishe ya kwamba tumesaidia taifa letu na tumesaidia wananchi. Sisi tutaendelea and I come on but once again we emphasize that despite the fact that the vaccine has arrived and will continue because we will get more and more doses until we meet our requirement. That does not remove from every single citizen the obligation and the duty to continue to maintain the health protocols that we have been given by our doctors, by our experts. We must continue with face mask wearing, we must continue with hand washing and sanitizing, we must continue with social distancing, because ultimately these are the factors that shall ensure that we are able to co uh, 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 combat and defeat this deadly virus that has accepted the, uh, um, infected the globe and that has resulted in a huge social as well as economic crisis that is global. So let us continue to work together and partner together while I once again say thank you very much to all those who are being concerned with this particular process and once again also to thank all Kenyans wherever they may be for the manner in which we have worked together hand in hand to be able to ensure that the level of death and the level of, 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 of loss of life and illness has been maintained. We have had it, yes. But it could have been much worse had it not been for the manner in which our population, our health experts and everybody have worked hand in hand in order for us to ensure that we have minimized the impact of this virus as we steadily and slowly move towards the opening of our society, our economy, and to get back to as normal as we possibly can, building back better for a better, brighter future for all of us. I will answer three questions and only three. <laughs> right, you're there? That's inside the
And I think this is the spirit that we in Africa must continue to adopt until we overcome this disease. But even as we face other challenges as we move forward, and I also once again would like to say I'm thanking all those partners who have supported not only Kenya, but the African continent in this particular process. Alright, one of we are going to to Nimesema <laughs> na ni mwongo wa mbao na chukua maisha na wangi wetu ni ya kwamba uweze kugote watafuata huo mwongo na hivyo ni msitaki kusema juu na hivyo mwongine ama mwongine ama mwongine atafanya kila inchi kwa na serikali yake na mwongo zi wake wata wambia nini mwenyewe mpangilio ile wakonae kuhusu inchi zao yangu ile nimetangaza leo ile mpangilio tuko naye kuhusu nchi yetu ya Kenya na hiyo nimewaeleza na kusema ya kwamba tuko tayari kuendelea kufanya kazi na wenzetu wa Afrika na wenzetu wa dunia kuhakikisha ya kwamba sisi zote tumejiepuka na tumejikinga na tumejilinda na tumeondoa huu ugonjwa kati yetu Last one. Good afternoon, Mr. President. <laughs> My name is James Lomolo from MTV. Uh, I have a question. Yeah. When are you and other leaders going to lead by example and get the job? Then number two, you say that the first batch, uh, we need to leave for Kenya, I think. So do you have plans for purchasing extra vaccines that get up to the population? Uh, let me start with your second one. Yes, of course, because the, the vaccines that are here are not enough. And I think if I am not wrong, we are expecting another vaccine. End of, huh? End of March, April, we are expecting another vaccine. So we will continue to receive uh, uh, the vaccine until uh, all our people are effectively covered across, across the country. And with regard to whether we will lead by example, I mean, these are the people who tell us. I told you, we have a policy. Yeah? The same person who say, if you want to charge them, you say, wakubwa wa meyana to charge them. Uruko, uruko, uruko. You know, we have one, you say, makinjo. Yeah? Yeah. Why do you know? Our Kitwambia, Yakwanda, this is the way, you know? They will tell us. And you will follow, like I said, Ours is the policy. The policy is clear. If the professionals tell us this is the way and this is what we need to do in order for A, B, C, D to do by example, and they will tell us. And we will abide by, by the uh, uh, direction that we are given by, by our, our health experts. They are the ones who tell us. But as of now, mine is to give you the policy, the details of how it shall be implemented. The professionals will be the ones to, to respond to that question. Last 
Uh, again, I, I, I don't think I'm in a position to, to answer the advantage of the other two that happened. Thank you, President. We are going to roll out the vaccination process. We did now and that is the truth. We started the vaccination one for two five years. Here we will distribute the vaccination in the first place. Thank you. So we are doing the vaccination process phase one, which starts from now until 30th of June. Targets 1.25 million Kenyans, and then phase two will commence thereafter, target about 9.6 million Kenyans. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, one, two more. You want to send them in for all? Mr. President, good afternoon. Afternoon. My name is Ben Kirera from K24 Television. And my question is, um, even before Kenyan is uh, planning to, you know, practice the vaccines, we still have our very own uh, process of developing a very own vaccine. We need to just have to know, just to confirm, how far are we in that particular development? Okay. Uh, I, 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 let me just say what I know. We were, we were partnering in, in terms of, of uh, going through the, uh, what do you call the, the, the clinical trials. Uh, and, and that is what we have been partnering with, and we will continue to partner with all international organizations towards that. And ultimately, as I said when I was meeting diplomats earlier, I was congratulating. It is not to say that hopefully our own scientists and researchers cannot also come up with uh, something. We will continue to encourage uh, our own local researchers and scientists uh, to come up also with uh, vaccines or, or, or uh, new innovations that can help us combat this uh, disease. But as of now, we will continue to partner with our international uh, 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 partners in terms of clinical trials and etc. to establish efficacy on other such issues. Last one. My name is Elisa Lefkoziva from the Health Lady Nation. Um, the information that we have received from the Health Ministry is uh, for the last category, we can receive the uh, vaccine in 2023. We seem to be along to the time. I just wanted to know whether there is a plan maybe to involve or private for players in maybe shipping and uh, maybe bringing in uh, some vaccines. Again, that's a Thank you, sir. Uh, as you have uh, rightly said, uh, Your Excellency, uh, uh, some of these discussions about how we are going to do it and the rollout thereof is uh, also dependent on the supply chain and where and how quickly we can get the vaccines from the suppliers. Because let's not forget that the reason why we can't roll out everything immediately has also got something to do with the fact that we cannot get enough vaccines. So what we are doing at the ministry is planning to acquire as quickly as possible and going forward uh, to see how soon we can go into the rest of the population. But at the extreme side, uh, we look at uh, the plans in places like uh, Europe. They are just planning all the way up to 2023 and so on. So when if we can get them faster, we will do it a lot faster than the predictions that have been made. And then, Your Excellency, among the people who are dealing with this issue is Dr. Lili Zakwale, who is the one who has been handling the whole chain of where we are getting and how we are moving and how we are going to vaccinate people and the entire safety of everything. And therefore, uh, Your Excellency, there is a good plan. The fact that uh, we have told you that it will take about two years simply means that that is what the supply chain is predicting. But of course, if we can do it faster, then we can do it a lot faster. And then let's not also forget that once we have vaccinated a very bad lot of groups, then the, the, the rate of infections would essentially start dropping. And as we go on, for example, sir, 
We are also expecting some vaccines that will only be one dose instead of a few doses. So the progress in the industry will also determine the speed at which we are able to execute this particular responsibility. Thank you very much. I uh, to I said three and I've done more. I think it's fair. Uh, just once again, I thank all these wonderful people for their continued hard work and everything that they continue doing. I want to, uh, again, uh, through our partners, uh, UNICEF, WHO, but particularly UNICEF, to reiterate that despite the fact that we are also we are, we, are, we, are, we are going to continue with this uh, uh, battle against COVID. It will also not interrupt the great work that we are doing together in terms of our children's vaccination of various other diseases. That program will also continue side by side by this and we continue to find UNICEF, WHO and all our other partners who continue to support us in this process of vaccination, not just for COVID, but also for other uh, areas. The <laughs> Thank you.